Hello everybody, my name is Marco and welcome back to Maracha Gaming. So, another episode of Satisfactory. So what we're gonna build today? Power. We constantly need more power, as everybody know who played Satisfactory. So today we are making the dilated fuel power plant. Very efficient way to turn oil into power. So, and also the easy way to do it. Uh, also stick to the end of the video. I will talk about some bugs that we got uh, while building this facility and I will give you possible fixes. So enjoy the video. All right, so how are we gonna build this? First thing we need is uh, a foundation wide. So you can place all the refineries, blenders that you need for this build. And uh, while I'm building the foundations, what do you actually need for this build? For this build, you actually need two uh, alternative recipes. The first alternative recipe is heavy oil residue. And the second alternative recipe is, of course, dilated fuel. Um, that's why this build can be a little bit kind of late comparing to turbo fuel power plant, but as already said, it's much easier to build and much more efficient, in my opinion. Now we need five refineries to make heavy oil residue. And now we need to bring the oil to them. Okay, with the oil brought, now I will just paint the uh, pipes so I know which fluid comes through that pipe. Um, it's actually very good to train yourself to do this very early on because in later builds this will actually help you a lot. So, we brought oil to the refineries, now we need to deal with the outputs of the refineries. The output is uh, basically the heavy oil residue, of course, and also a little bit of resin. Uh, in this build we are actually sinking resin, but you can use the resin for rubber or plastic, depends on, on what you need. Uh, and uh, yeah, let's finish the outputs of these refineries. Outputs is done, so now we need to give the recipe to the refineries. And as I already said, uh, now I will put the resin into the awesome sink.
And now, of course, we need to give uh, power to the refineries so, uh, so they can stop working, right? So refineries are done, so now we need to expand these uh, foundations to make room for four blenders and also for four water extractors. This build also needs uh, 400 water per minute, so let's just build that. Ah, nice. With the heavy oil residue connected, now it's time to give the blenders the recipe for dilute fuel. And now we need to deal with the outputs of the blenders. Okay, now what I'm building here, it's gonna stabilize the flow of fuel and will stop the backflow of the fuel as well. Um, I tried many things before this, but I found this to be very good and very helpful. So it's nothing too complex, to be honest. So yeah, let's build this. Or what? <clears throat>
Ah, that is on R. 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 Whatever. Alright, now I need to bring water to the blenders. Uh, this build needs 400 water per minute, so that means you need at least four uh, water extractors. You can underclock them to save a little bit of power, uh, because water extractors are bringing 120, so underclock them to 100 and you will be fine. Okay, now <clears throat> I need to build the water extractors. Uh, if you have the eight wide for, uh, foundation, as I told you at the beginning, uh, just cut the hole three by 10 and you will avoid the problem that I have right now uh, to build the water extractors. Okay, do you have some rollers? I just split them. Don't make me go for rollers right now. Hmm? Uh, you can grab the rest. Yeah. I just need two. Now you take. <laughs> ah. Okay. Of course, at the end, I just move up and build that A foundation that I told you in the beginning you actually need. But past me, I guess, try to do something else.
with the water extractor connected to one pipe and power on. Actually, I didn't. Connect. Yeah, I, didn't. I connect one. Now we need to bring that water to the uh, blenders so we can start making that fuel. Now I need to paint the pipes, obviously. So did you finish the, the line? Is it working? The only thing that matters is, is that producing power or not. Okay, with the water extractor connected and now the blenders making the dilute fuel power plant, it's time to make oil generators. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that is a... Wait, 11,000? Ah, one is not working. I guess. Also, did you underclock the last one? Nice. Because that is kind of important. Um, that is my educated guess. Okay. okay, while past me is trying to figure out how he is gonna make the oil generators, I will just explain how and how many you need to build. So basically you need to build 34 generators. So basically 12 on each side. Um, 12, no, 17 on each side, sorry. Uh, and you need to underclock the last one, but I will show you when I actually underclock. Uh, so what you want to do is, I know you want to make the closed loop system. Uh, I will explain you more when I well, build it, so you will understand it better. Then, I don't know. Why is this not working? Ah. Huh. Nice. Of course I missed some pipe. Uh, that's it's why it's good. very good to actually double check if every pipe or power line or anything is connected because stuff like this is gonna happen.
and now I need to finish the rest of generators, so this will take some time, so... Building montage, let's go! Okay, with generators done, as I already said, you need to underclock the last generator to 33.33% uh, percent. so it will actually use uh, 400 fuel that you are making with this build and yeah, and also uh, I already told you about closed loop that you need to build, when I say need it works. It works better when the uh, it's closed loop. And now at the end of the generators, I will build the big uh, industrial fluid buffer. So any excess fuel um, don't clog the system because we need blenders to work non-stop. So that's why we are building the closed system and also putting the industrial fluid buffer at the end so the blenders will never stop working. I did a mistake, okay. I will make it now. I am not that fast. Okay, now, <clears throat> as already said, we need to close the system. So we are going to make two pipes that go around the generators and creating that close loop system that I already said. Uh, of course, this is probably wrong how I build the industrial fluid buffer. So I will fix that later. I will show you later how I fix that. Yeah, what am I doing? I mean, building like this, it's no, it's not a mistake. It's just don't look nice. So. Are you making the other pipeline from the other side or not? Nice. 
of course, like I forgot to say, you can overclock the blenders. Oh, uh, not blenders, sorry. Oil generators. So you don't need to build this many of them. But if you wanting to, like, save power shards or something like that, then sadly, you need to build this many oil generators. Okay, that was a weird sound. So all the are connected to the each other. Yes. Yeah. Nice. With all pipes connected to the generators, the flu the fuel is starting to flow. Uh, so my suggestion is to wait for all generators to get filled with fuel before you turn them on. Because if you not, then you will need a lot of time until the old generators start working properly. So this is like faster way to get them all working nicely. Okay, so past me, of course, did a mistake and connect them to power too early. So I will just fast forward until I finish the connecting them to power and also let them fill up with fuel. Okay, so this lane is done. Um, everything is working nicely, and so how much power are you getting with this build? Uh, every lane is giving you 5 gigawatts of power or 5000 megawatts, however you prefer. So with 600 oil, so that is basically pure oil, you are getting 20 gigawatts of power. So now I just have finishing touch and I have something else to talk about. All right, so this is how entire four lanes or pure oil node looks like when done. So as I already said, now this with 600 oil, this is producing 20 gigawatts of power. So now there is other thing that I want to talk about. And that is, um, I don't know if you, maybe you had or not, but we had constantly problems with oil. Um, basically, what is the problem is that we are not getting oil, enough oil to feed this line. Because I honestly believe that is some bug for the um, experimental release of update 8. So after a while of this uh, working, you will possibly see that the last refineries in the line, so not the first two lines, but the last refineries, will not get enough oil, especially these two refineries. But as you can see right now, we kind of fixed it. So as I already said, possibly this is just like a bug that maybe they will fix, but until then, if you have these issues, maybe you want to try 
this fix that we made. Basically, if, uh, the fix is if you are using two normal nodes, I mean two oil extractor on non on normal oil nodes, then don't uh, merge those line into one 600 pipe. Do it separately because th this will avoid the issue. Or if you have the pure line like we have here, basically you divert those that one 600 line into two Mark 1 pipes. This is one solution. As you see, it works. I don't understand how it works, but as I already said, I honestly believe this is like <laughs> problem with the experimental version of Abre 8. And also there is another fix for this issue and I will show you in a second. Okay, now the second fix is basically something like this. Uh, it's basically the same, same concept. The only thing is that you don't use the uh, Mark 1 pipes. You continue to use Mark 2 pipes, but you need to place the valves on each one and basically leave it like that. So as I already said, this is very weird bug. Uh, I hope they will fix it in the near future so we don't deal with that anymore. But for now, it is what it is. So yeah, I hope this helped in your world. So yeah, I will end this episode here. Um, I will not show you what I we build behind us. That is for another episode, but um, yeah. Uh, so like, subscribe, we really help my channel out. And also, as always, have a great day and see you on another video. Bye.